Hello, everyone. Whoever's watching out there, I just want to say that um, I hope that God be with you and bless you through this time that we're going through, this time of crisis, this dilemma of the COVID-19, this coronavirus. And, uh, you know, I haven't been online that much because we've been in prayer, a lot of prayer. At one time, we were actually going, doing nonstop praying. And um, I have a conference line, a prayer line, but it's called PPF. It's prayer, praise, and fellowship line. For those to come on and we fellowship, we talk about what God is doing and the needs you may have to keep each other strong through this period. I always say that um, during this time, we can, you know, maybe have to crawl up in our homes like a cocoon, you know, like a, a, a caterpillar and uh, just receive what God has for us and just get built up on the word and prayer and listen to what God is saying, you know, and then come out like a beautiful fly machine. You know, God wants to speak to his children. But anyway, if you'd like to get on the prayer line, you can message me and I can give you that information. Again, it's called PPF, Prayer, Praise and Fellowship. And it's been a lot of revelation going on there. And also, you can um, go to my website, greaterfaithoutreach.com. Again, that's greaterfaithoutreach.com. And we, um, the prayer lines are open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific time. I'm in Washington State, so that's 1 p.m. Pacific time. And join in. It's been a lot of, you know, uplifting prayers and uplifting uh, situations where people have been through a lot, but when they get off the line, they feel so much better knowing that someone's there for them. Um, it's just been a lot, a lot of revelation. The revelation has been flowing like crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you. And, you know, and, and, you know, it's good to reflect on a lot of things. I used to do phlebotomy, right? And I went to school for that and I studied phlebotomy and I was always interested in it. It was, you know, but now I, I can look back and I see a lot of things in there that shows us how powerful the blood is, you know, you know, and not too long ago, we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay. And his blood and what his blood atoned for all our sins. He took our place. Okay. And that was the most climactic act in all humanity's history, what Jesus did for us. Okay. No one else could have done that. But um, I wrote a, a short uh, a book. Uh, it's, it was in the, it's in a outli uh, outline form so people can easily understand it because there's life in the blood. Okay. Life is in the blood, the blood. Okay. And, uh, you know, we've been, they've been talking about these vaccin vaccin vaccination shots and all of these different things, you know. And I was studying my book, going over my book again, reflecting, since I have a lot of time on my hand, reflecting over that book. And the blood provides us all the nutrition and everything that we need is in the blood. Okay, and I always think about what God said. He said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God, you know, fearfully and wonderfully made by him. And it provides everything we need. The heart pumps the blood throughout the body, through the veins, like a, you know, picture a giant conveyor belt, just sending nutrition and delivering calcium, magnesium, sodium, oxygen, and much, much more, you know. In our blood, and it even takes out the waste products out of our, you know, out of our bodies. You know, fighting bacteria and acting like antibodies. The reason why I'm saying this is because of the vaccin vac vaccinations that they are trying to put out there. But I just want to say this: that the white blood cells will multiply and fight off bacteria, and they also have memory. Wow. Hmm. And remembers what it took to fight back that last time. Our bodies, again, are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. You know, uh, I was thinking about uh, uh, Louis Pasteur. He knew 
in the 19th and the 20th century what God has already known. But anyway, I'm not going to get into details on that. I have a book on that, but I'm not trying to push a book either. But I'm just saying all knowledge and wisdom come from God. So I pray that people, the governors, the presidents, the scientists, and everyone who is involved would seek God for wisdom and knowledge. You know, he's given us Jesus Christ. And all knowledge and all wisdom is in Jesus. You know, the Bible tells us, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the good things that God has prepared for those who love him, but it's revealed through the Holy Spirit. You know, the, the Holy Spirit is the revealer who knows all. Well, I hope you can join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays on the PPF conference line. Get in touch with me. Message me and say, hey, I would like to join that. Okay, I want to get continue to stay strong. Okay, join us. Until next time, bye-bye.